to uh, see the snow. I don't like to be in it. You or ski on it? Oh, come on. No. Come on. You don't yeah. ski or snowboard? Do I look, do I look like I ski? Oh, we going <laughs> to put you on some skis this like year. I'm going to take you to the top and give you a nice I mean, little push down. Right up here. Right <laughs> up here where you just push you. No, thank you. Right. Tell me the lodge up there where they sell like It's the best way to learn, scene. The cocktails are right down here. <laughs> That's where I'll be. You got to go from here to here. Can you just, <laughs> just slide down. Just slide down. I She's do like, do these skis, do they work like a sled? No, thank you. Just belly it right down. It's so down the slope. It's so nice yeah, uh, that Evie. it's here in Arizona. Hey, thanks to Evie. Yeah. She sent us Thank this photo you, from Donnie Park uh, on our Arizona Facebook page. So here's a couple more snowfall totals for you. Like they said, Snowball, six inches at the lodge, about 13 inches up at the summit. They got that brand new gondola, again, scheduled to open on November 20th. Right around Munns Park in Belmont, four inches. Various amounts around Flagstaff, right around three, three and a half inches. Over in eastern Arizona, just south of Sholo, they had... Uh, almost four inches. Bob and Patty and Pinedale sent me this great photo behind us. Williams at about three inches and east of Flagstaff, same thing. Here's our just pathetic rainfall totals, right? Uh, for, for Saturday and in through Sunday, northern and eastern portions of the valley are about the only ones that had measurable rain. Our big headline today, Yetta was talking about it. It was nice. It was kind of on the crisp side. 62 degrees was our high 55 outside right now. And in fact, our daytime high of 62, 17 degrees below average. And we haven't been this cool. Get this Royal did the numbers. 272 days since February 11th. Didn't even get to the freeze mark for Flagstaff. So it's going to be a chilly morning. 60s and sunny during the day and the 70s are right around the corner. Here's a look at the big map. Clear skies. That means it's going to be a cold morning, right? Here's the jet stream. Notice what it's doing most of the week. Flowing from west to east. It's called a zonal flow. That indicates very mild, very little changing weather pattern. It's going to be sunny most of the week. Some high clouds coming in by Wednesday and then again possibly on Friday. We're going to watch a system out of the Pacific Northwest, but far and away, this is our big story tonight. The lows tomorrow morning. We're talking mid to lower 30s in some of the outlying fringe areas, especially in the upper elevations. 36 in Buckeye, 35 in Maricopa, 37 down in the Santan Valley area, 9 in Flagstaff. So it is going to be cold up in the high country. There's your daytime highs for tomorrow. So we're going to Make a little bit of a progression on our daytime high, but 71 for Veterans Day. Just gorgeous there. Just some partly cloudy skies on Thursday and Friday. And look at that. We're back into the lower 80s by Monday. CBS 5 News at 10 returns right after this.